How do ordinary tangerines rejuvenate and reduce the risks of various diseases? What changes in the body will occur if you consume them daily? What are the contraindications? All the details and secrets you will learn in this video. If you love tangerines, put a like and we will begin. A number of components of tangerines can have a positive effect on slowing down the aging process, prolonging life and rejuvenating the body. In this context, tangerines contain acids, vitamins, as well as minerals, potassium, magnesium, iron, phosphorus, sodium and calcium. Tangerines contain phytoncides, natural antiseptics. The peel contains 1-2% essential oil. The peel also contains pigments such as carotene. In winter, this citrus makes up for vitamin deficiencies and strengthens the immune system thanks to its high dose of ascorbic acid. Adding zest to hot drinks helps to thin phlegm and ease coughs. Like other citrus fruits, this fruit has an antipyretic effect and accelerates the treatment of colds. For the preparation of medicines in folk medicine, the peel and leaves of the tangerine are used. In colds, steam baths made of tangerine peel are effective. The peel contains an important flavonoid aspiridin, which protects the body from viruses, inflammation and has anti-allergic properties. For inhalations, you will need to prepare a container with a small neck. In it, you need to pour a handful of crushed, pre-dried crusts and then pour boiling water. After that, you need to actively inhale steam for 10-12 minutes. Inhale alternately with the left and right nostril. It is important to remember that after taking steam baths should refrain from staying in the cold for at least two hours. When the flu you need to prepare 20 fresh tangerine leaves in any way to crush them. Pour them with three glasses of quality vodka or medical alcohol diluted with purified water. After that, this tincture should be tightly closed and put away for two weeks in a dark place so that the composition insisted. Then, strain the tincture through gauze and take 30 to 40 drops diluting with water after meals three times a day for coughs. To get rid of respiratory ailments, you should regularly take a decoction of fresh, finely chopped peel of tangerines. For its preparation, you will need to pour two tablespoons of one and a half cups of boiling water, then sweat on low heat for about 10 minutes. Having removed the container from the fire, leave it under a lid for infusion. After one hour, the composition will need to strain through gauze. The finished drink should be taken four times a day for two tablespoons 20 minutes before the next meal. When a cough occurs, to improve the expectoration of phlegm, you need to take 20 grams of crushed peel, pour it into a jar and add one glass of quality vodka. After that, the container should be put in a dark place for insistence. Then you need to strain the composition through gauze. Ready remedy should be taken 20 drops three times a day before meals. In bronchitis, take a mug of boiling water, add 20 grams of dry and crushed mandarin peel. Put the container on a small fire for no more than seven minutes. After that, the remedy should be insisted for about 60 minutes and strain through gauze. Ready warm decoction should be drunk three times during the day for 30 minutes before meals. With inflammatory or infectious diseases of the mouth, to prepare an infusion for mouthwash, you need to take 10 mandarin leaves, chop them finely and pour two glasses of just boiling water. The container is tightly closed and let the liquid infuse for two hours. Ready infusion should be strained through gauze and take a third of a cup after meals. With diarrhea, to normalize digestion, dry mandarin peels should be poured boiling water or just add to black tea. Such a drink will sanitize the gastrointestinal tract, adjusting the digestive system. Those who want to lose weight should drink mandarin brew after the main meal, using it instead of dessert. In mastitis, inflammation of the mammary gland, caused by the development of pathogenic flora, mainly Staphylococci, tangerine peel successfully fights their growth. Therefore, decoctions with tangerine peel can be used as a safe remedy for the treatment of mastitis after childbirth. To prepare an infusion, you need to take 50 grams of dried crushed mandarin peel and 10 grams of lettuce root. Ingredients are mixed and poured two glasses of boiling water. After that, the composition is once again boiled, cover with a lid and let it infuse for one to one and a half hour. Then the decoction should be strained through gauze and take two times a day, one glass. 
In addition, from such a decoction is useful to make lotions to hardened areas on the chest from mycosis. If the fungal infection has already begun to develop, you should prepare an alcohol or oil tincture of mandarin peel. In this case, it is best to combine it with grains of the same citrus. Vodka tincture will be ready in 10 days. For its preparation, you need to prepare the peel of several tangerines, crush it and pour quality vodka or alcohol, diluted with purified water. The ready remedy should be taken internally one teaspoon three times a day. In addition to eliminating fungus, such a remedy will clean the blood vessels and help those who seek to cure stomatitis. Essential oils that are part of the mandarin peel revitalize the nervous system, help with neurasthenia and get rid of insomnia. It is very useful to take baths with an infusion and tangerine peel. To prepare the infusion you need to pour one cup of fresh chopped mandarin peel three liters of boiling water. Then put the container on low heat and again bring to a boil. Then turn off the fire and insist the composition about one to one and a half hours under a lid. Ready infusion strain through gauze. Squeeze the peel and pour it into the bath. The bath should be taken an hour before bedtime every second day. The temperature of the water should be 37-38 degrees Celsius. To get rid of warts, you will need a sour tangerine. It is necessary to take a small tangerine and together with the peel and pips, pour vinegar into a small mug, then knead it to a liquid state. The resulting mass should be covered with warts and leave the remedy for 15-20 minutes. As a rule, warts disappear after several such procedures. To treat neuralgia, insomnia, migraine attacks and toning the body is recommended to arrange baths with decoction of citrus peels. For one procedure will require the peel removed from three fruits. Peel should be crushed, then put in an enameled container and steam a liter of steep boiling water. After that, the composition should be allowed to insist under a lid and add to the bath. To prepare a vitamin drink, you need to combine in a blender bowl the zest of one lemon or tangerine, left after squeezing the juice, with pieces of ground flax seeds and a couple of sprigs of celery. A cup of filtered water is added to the ingredients, and then everything is vigorously pulverized. In about two minutes you get a hearty, nutritious, energizing and empowering drink. Contraindications of Mandarin Despite the fact that the useful properties of the tangerine have a huge number, you need to remember about the negative aspect. Mandarins belong to citrus, which means that they often cause allergies. You should not overeat them and give them to children under two to three years old. Ascorbic acid in the composition of tangerines can irritate the gastric mucosa, so they should not be used with ulcer disease, enterita, high acidity, and during the exacerbation of inflammatory diseases of the stomach and intestine. For the same reason, the fruit should not be eaten on an empty stomach. In addition, tangerines can harm people suffering from diabetes, since their pulp contains a large amount of sugars. They should use this fruit with caution or completely exclude it from the diet. Due to the abundance of fiber, tangerines can cause abdominal bloating and flatulence. In addition, tangerines should be excluded from the diet of people suffering from hepatitis, cholecystitis, and nephritis. The fruit contains a large amount of vitamin A and carotene, which can accumulate in the liver cells. If the organ is weakened by disease, it will cause damage to it. More information on this topic you will find on our channel. Subscribe, please put a like and watch these useful videos. We look forward to your comments.